welcome back to Number Nine Farms. Today we are going to be making some applesauce, and what I've got here is I've got a 22 quart large container um, that I have with some lemon juice and water, and I just, just dumped the lemon juice in, no rhyme or reason. And we have cut, um, we've quartered them and cored them. So now what we're going to be doing is uh, letting them be in here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put these in the cooker. We're going to get these cooking, and we're, I've got an 18 quart um, Nesco over here that I'm going to cook those in, and I've also got a large pot that I'm going to be putting in also to cook the second ones that I still have. I still have two more um, colanders full of apples. And uh, what else can I tell you? We're going to use our raw roots today to do this applesauce for the first time. We've used it for the tomatoes. But now we're going to do the applesauce. Yay! Guys, you can also add your scraps, which I didn't peel any of these because it is applesauce. Um, you can add those and make some apple cider vinegar, which I've done many, many times because I usually make at least 100 pints of uh, apple butter every year. But now I'm going to go ahead and put these in the cooker. And I still got all these left. Okay, so now I've already got the second batch done, and this is all I have left now. So, and there's another bucket of scraps, which we took them out to the farm and just dumped them outside. For the chickadees. And uh, the other little critters that come up, the rabbits. The rabbits. <laughs> I couldn't think of them. Well, you got rabbits on your farm, really? Yeah, unfortunately. How come those rabbits um, make you so mad when they get your plant? Uh, they gotta eat too. Yeah. All right, so here I've got um this pot. I'm gonna fill this pot up, put this on the stove, and this one is already cooking, so it's doing really good. Look, and I have it on. Well, Bruce has it on 350 now, so Bruce cranked it up. Cranking I see. it up, cranking it up. All right, we'll be back. Okay guys, so now it's all cooked down. This is the one pot and you can see how it's so nice and soft. And this is what I have after it was filled to the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the raw roots reaper. And it's like to me, I'm gonna have to plunge. Where's the... Over there. It's our first time making applesauce with this machine, and we're excited. We know it does a great job with tomatoes. Oh, look at that. Let's see how it's doing. It's doing great. Okay, let's see what we got here. And all we did was core the apples, and we may have even cooked them a little too long. Who knows? Well. We'll figure it out as we go along. You can put that on yourself, Ricky. I, I may have overcooked them. Cause Princess was... and Miss Minnie are just alike. They don't do overcook nothing. Right? Yeah. This princess don't burn no applesauce. Well, guys, I can't say enough about this machine and how great it works. It's had been, and the Victorio that we have works great too. It's just can't keep up with the demand. It just can't keep up with the demand. And we just did 22 quarts of tomatoes and we didn't cook those at all. And we did 22 so, quarts of regular I'll, tomatoes without cooking them. And, and also there was an unboxing video on this so if you you know interested in it you can see exactly what came with it and how we and set it up. That. It was just, just beautiful. Heavenly applesauce coming all right, so we'll be back. We'll fill, feed all this in there. All right, thank you. First um, pot grew, and I put a little bit of lemon juice just to keep it yeah. um, from turning, but everything is good because, you know, they were soaked in it. But that's what I got, the first um, batch. So we're ready to start the second batch, and we're, I'm going to go ahead and stop that there. And... Go for this. Now we got some of these jars done and we're still pumping out some apple. 